Hey folks, y'all are in for a treat today because we're talking scotch eggs. What are they? Cackleberries, cowboy style. First, we're gonna wrap them in sausage. It's got a little green onion in it. Then we're gonna put a little flour panko crust them. Deep fry them, stick around. You're gonna wanna see it. Hey folks, thank y'all for dropping by camping. Oh, what a great day the Lord has made for us today. What do we do here? We cover it all in cowboy cooking, grilling, everything you got. But you're in for a special treat today, some cowboy scotch eggs. Now, that ain't just eating eggs and drinking scotch. We're gonna do it the old traditional way. But wait a minute, that does sound pretty good, but I don't like scotch. Reckon we could call them whiskey eggs, Shen? So no. folks, let's give you a little history about this dish first, and it goes to what you wanna believe here. And I'm gonna ask my UK friends and my Scottish friends over there across the pond way, hey, help me out on this deal. Did you get this off the Google? I got it off the Google. Tune my satellite in right there to the sun, right off the top of the American flag, bounced to me, and it says, an upscale London department store named Fortnum and Mason claims to have created this savory snack in the mid 18th century, catering to the well-to-do travelers who pass by and they could just grab it and go. This dish may not have originated there because it began as a poor man's lunch. And the Scotch egg is to believe a relative of a Cornish pastry and consumed by Scottish farmers. Now this can be made as an appetizer. You can eat them for breakfast. It's sort of like having one of them egg McMuffins all rolled into one and you didn't even have to go the golden arches. This is right here in camp. So we're gonna boil us some eggs about six and a half minutes, which is to a medium to soft boil there because we want that center to be just right. And then what are we gonna do? Put them in an ice bath so they'll quit that cooking, let them cool off so we can peel them in a minute. So we just finished this up a cooking school just this last week and we did this dish and I was sitting there peeling them eggs, but not Mike Parlani. No, Mike is the one that showed me how to crack both ends. Blow that egg right out there. Oh, this, this will be a fine one. I think might need some more air in here. All right, ready? Oh, that's nice. Crazy. <laughs> nice. You take this end here and you crack it and then you peel the shell right there off of it. We crack the other end. Yep, I can hear the comments on this one already, I can. So folks, however you wanna do them to get these shells off, that's fine with me, but make sure you get them shelled. I'm gonna go ahead and try another one of them cause that was a pretty spectacular thing it was in my book. Did it work? Nah, not that one. <laughs> oh. Let me tell you folks, if you're out of shape, it'd be hard on you. Well, folks, you can see we have about three-fourths of a cup of green onion finely diced with the disomatic. I got just one pound of pork sausage. So we're going to go ahead and crumble our little sausages up in here, which is a pound. Big said, did you say sausage? Yes, sir, buddy. This is a delectable dish. It is. And I'll be knowing that you'll be wanting to get a bite of it. And you will get to test it and we're gonna incorporate that really, really well. Cause I want every bite to have some of them green onions in it. I like to make this into a little old loaf deal here to where we can make sure that we're gonna get six even out of there. We're gonna pinch this off into six equal parts we are. It is time for us to begin the mashing party. Now you can do this with wax paper, tin foil, whatever you got, but we need to make these really thin and I'll sometimes even break out one of these utensils here. So folks, you wanna make sure that these is rolled out pretty thin because if you get them too thick and that gets really brown over, you still could have that chance that some of that sausage is a little raw. So make sure they're really thin we got them right here like this and here we do. Now you want to make sure as a tip that your eggs is really dry before you start this process. 
That's why I like to go ahead and peel them and let them get some drying time in. That right over the top of that. Just keep rolling. Tip number two, get a little cold water on your hands. That sausage won't stick to you quite as bad. And then we're just gonna make sure that we got it all good and mashed on there, a good tight ball. Now, if and you didn't know, you'd think that's just a sausage ball with onions in it, wouldn't you? Ha, <laughs> fooled you. That is one of them what you call it things. Roll in, roll in, roll in. That's just for a beef show. You can't do it on a hog show. Oh. So, I like to put her right there in the middle, roll that one right over there. There you go, folks. Let me finish these up and we'll get to frying. Well, while y'all wasn't watching, I done started the oil in that deep frying over there in that deep 12. We have got us an egg wash, which is a tablespoon of cold water in one egg and stirred up briskly. We got us some panko breadcrumbs. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of dried mustard. If I can get it all in there from the wind. Get in there. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're gonna mix that really well with our hands. Put in a little salt and pepper to taste, which is about yay much and about yay much. Now, before we go on with this process, we got us a cup of all-purpose flour. So we're gonna take our little eggs out of here and we're gonna lightly sprinkle them with flour. Looks like powdered sugar up on a donut hole, don't it? And then we're gonna go ahead and egg wash it. And then it's into the panko it goes. And now folks, you can roll them around in there like that and leave them but it's best do you mash them on there. That way you're not losing none of them bread comes when it goes to frying. One down, five to go. Now, if you got two people in the kitchen that can be doing this at one time and one of them ain't a beagle cause you can't trust him around food folks, he will eat his share before you get ready. Well, we got them all put together, we do. Got the deep fryer getting hot, so let's check that temperature. We're looking at about 349, 350, and we'll see what we are, and we'll drop in there and go to frying. The suspense is killing me. Is it now? Put these in there with your fingers gently if you want to get them burnt. Me, I'm just going to put them in there just like that. Got me about two inches of good canola oil in there, and we're going to let these rascals fry up. You will have to roll them around just a little. And you know when you put these in there that your oil temperature is liable to cool down a minute. I sure would like to get this last straggler in there so everybody comes out there at the same time. It was a miracle, it was. And it dropped it down there about five or six degrees. We're running about 344, so we're in good shape. Now let's go ahead and just give them a little roll. You can see they're already beginning to brown there and we'll just keep rolling them around. And we're gonna probably cook them four to five minutes here to get that deep, dark, golden brown so we know that that sausage is good and done all the way around and it's got that crunch when you get in there. So we're gonna sing that old song. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. what we done got there biggie it is a good deal we're gonna cook them about four or five minutes until they are a deep dark golden brown not that light golden brown but dark because we don't want to take any chance that sausage being raw now i'm gonna set him right there and y'all done see me mix about equal parts of mustard and horseradish together and i'm gonna set him right over there take me one of these little knives and i'm gonna cut him 
and maybe if Shan can hear it, and I'll zoom in here too. That sausage is done. Looky there. Perfectly soft boiled medium on that egg. Woo la la. Folks, let me tell you. We're going to put a little of that on there. Big to the scotch eggs. Woo! Now don't you UK and Ireland fans be getting down on me for doing the shottish cowboy dance, but my jimity, them right there is some of that good eating, I promise you. This has got everything imaginable going in there, and you can look at them layers, panko, flour, sausage, egg, and mm -mm, goodness. That green onion, to me folks, is the star of the show in there, but I get that smoked paprika in there. It's got that great smoky flavor, but that's how them eggs need to be. Not hard boiled. I'm talking about a medium boil. This is fine dining cowboy food. It is cowboy scotch eggs without the scotch bottle. So now y'all can do whatever sauce blend you like. I like the mustard blend and the Kent Rollins green chipotle chili sauce brand too. Mm. Praise the Lord, pass the biscuits, and thank all them old Scottish farmers for getting this to me, Shan, because that is, that is a delicacy. So, folks, we thank you for stopping by today and having some scotch eggs with us. Oh, it was a great day. We hope you learned something. Now, remember, you can put in here about whatever you want to because our recipes are called Happy Meals. And if you got something that goes in there that makes you happy, put it on in there, I promise you. I wanna always tip my hat to them servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that flag flying over that wagon and keeping us safe. Be sure that you share the food and the videos with all your neighbors and your friends. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and wait just a second. Next week, we're gonna have a Thanksgiving recipe you wanna see. So remember, God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the Cowboy Scottish Egg Trail. Big. Big. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Hey, folks. Hey, folks. Skippy. Hey, Skippy. Yeah. Hey, folks. Guess what we're making? Candleberries and fruit. Are you ready? They're that... coming out of the chickens, but these candleberries are. My name's Kent Rollins. We're going to do it. What are you doing? Rewind. Here we go.